So what I wanted to do today was go over some tips, I guess, for the hardcore difficulty in RE4, um, give you some general kind of advice on how to get through it a little bit easier, um, and kind of my own thoughts on the mode itself. At the time of recording this, I haven't done a professional run-through yet, and I definitely will be, because if you know me by now, I like to suffer through these games in the most painful ways possible, um, so I'll do kinds of runs on professional. But when I have done a professional run, I'll have another guide in the same vein, only there's a bit more uh, to go over, because there's a few more differences in professional versus hardcore. So without any further ado, let's just get into the kind of best advice I can give for most players who may be going through a hardcore for the first time and maybe haven't really dipped their toes into hard difficulties in RE before. And uh, yeah, let's just get to it. So straight out of the gate, of course, um, it's a survival horror game. Although it's more action focused with RE4, it's still a survival horror game, which means you want to kind of just make sure your ammo is up to scratch and you've got enough healing to get through each encounter because there are multiple encounters in this game that are a bit more intense than others, especially on hard difficulty. So you kind of want to have as many bullets and healing as possible. So this is where the tips come in. First of all, the knife in this game is your best friend. And it usually is in other games too, but this one is so much better than older games. Basically, if you don't know already, there is a parry system in Resident Evil 4 Remake. And you can pretty much parry everything outside of a few attacks in the game, mainly from bosses. And it helps massively. Perfect parrying can pretty much set you up to do a strong melee attack on enemies. And it does do a lot of damage, especially to normal type enemies. And it will save you a few rounds to just parry them perfectly and kick them. Not only will the kick hit the enemy you stagger, but if there's any around them, it will probably knock them over too and do damage to them. Um, so it's very important to know when to use the knife. There's also a stealth mechanic as well, so you can sneak on enemies and stealth kill them in one hit with the knife. But uh, keep in mind, with the knife, although it is very, very useful and very, very strong, it is limited because it has a limited amount of HP. You can find other knives throughout the game, but again, they're all limited in the HP. So use it wisely, but it is a very good tool to have. On that same vein, I would also say as well, kind of channel your inner Dead Space player, you know? Like, so, in Dead Space, you kill the Necromorphs by shooting them in the limbs, right? Same idea here, really, honestly, believe me. So what you want to do, is when there's a bunch of enemies rounded up, and you've got your handgun, shoot, like, the first enemy in the group in the legs, and it'll go down on his knees, and that'll, again, set you up for a stagger. It's a lot more efficient to get the stagger and then the melee hit, rather than just spraying something in the head, because it can get to a point in this game, even with upgraded weapons, where the enemies are very, very tanky. For anyone new to RE4 with the remake, the melee system was very, very useful in the original as well. It's very strong, and you can set yourself up for it quite a lot of times, especially in the remake with the knife. So definitely try a melee, definitely try and pace your shots, and aim for maybe limbs rather than the headshots. Especially with this game, because when you get to the later stages of the game, and you get headshots and the plagas come out, that is just going to make it even more troublesome for you. Next thing I'd probably say is definitely do the target ranges if you're in, if you're kind of wanting to because they give you pretty good rewards. I've never used them yet. I haven't used any of the rewards you get from them yet because I wanted to do a new game. Yeah, I wanted to do a new game without the assistance from them. But if you are stuck, the charms are very useful. Um, for example, there's some out there that reduce the um, crafting resources for certain ammo types. There's ones that make it so that you get more healing off of like eggs and stuff like that. There's ones where it increases the frequency of like resources to drop. So it can help a lot. Uh, so definitely try and get some good ones of those and use them. I think you can have three on at a time, so definitely kind of mix and match as and when you need them. Going back to the Plagas enemies for a second, and this is probably a big one. Um, stock up on flash grenades and do not spam them. Basically, the Plagas, there is a, like a tool tip later on in the game, but if you do not know, um, using a flash grenade can one-shot them completely. So as long as they're mutated and their Plagas is out, that is pretty much going to one-hit all of them. So definitely kind of wait until there's more than one in the room. You know, if you're in a bit of trouble, just throw one, they'll all die. Not only that, but it also sets up the remaining enemies for melee attacks and backstabs and stuff, so flash grenades are also a big player in this game, so do not sleep on them, and do not spam them. So going back into hardcore itself as a difficulty, obviously it's the hardest mode you can play um, if you're playing the game for the first time. Obviously if you beat the game, you get professional, but hardcore is the default hardest difficulty. So again, going back into that whole using things wisely and not spamming everything out, and using the crafting system and the knife and the limb damage effectively is probably key to getting through. It's not as hard as professional, obviously, but if you're new to the harder difficulties of RE games, then obviously hardcore is a good sweet spot, I think. I've played a lot of these games and had a lot of experiences across different difficulties, and I could probably say that hardcore for RE4 isn't too bad. There are moments that are hard, but the game itself isn't too bad. But if you are still kind of on the fence, there's always the uh, standard mode, new game plus, anything like that. But if you want to do hardcore in a new game for the S plus rank, I would say it's not as bad as you think. But yeah, overall, I think hardcore is a reasonably fair challenge. It's firm and fair, um, so definitely worth playing for your first time if you're for the challenge. If not, no worries. Um, if you have played hardcore through on your first run, let me know how it went for you. Um, I will be having a video out 
when I've done professional, kind of around the same vein, probably a bit more detail as well, because there are some differences with uh, professional that I do want to go over in more depth. Um, and I'll probably be restoring my professional runs too. So make sure to check those out. But yeah, thank you all for coming by. And I'll see you all in the next one.